All right, so for today, I'm going to be showing you how to change your screen resolution with the command prompt or within terminal. Um, there are many reasons why you'd want to do this. I personally do it because I can set it up as a hotkey within Quicksilver because as you can see, my screen resolution is massive. It's 1920 by 1200. And I have a going on a three year old MacBook. So Hulu does not play well when I run at this high resolution. I can't run full screen. There's no possible way. So in order to run full screen, I need to go down to 1440 by 900, which is a real pain, but eh, I mean, I, if I can automate it, then that's that's fine with me. Otherwise, I'll just download the, the episode on uh, Torrent or something like that. But for the most part, every once in a while, I want to watch a, an episode of some TV show that I like, and I haven't downloaded it, and I need instant gravi gratification, so that's how I downloaded it. So, first things first, you need to get this application. Um, it's a command line tool, obviously. So it's called Screen Util, and you can get it at up here, molumenterprises.co.uk. Now, it, it's at the bottom, it's kind of hidden, it's down there, I think it, I don't know, it's version 1.0, but if you cannot find it, if this website does not exist anymore, my site should still be up, hopefully, at iamthekiller.net slash downloads slash screenutil.zip, all lowercase. That's S-C-R-E-E-N-U-T-I-L dot zip. So, now that we've got that, what you're want to what you're going to want to do is uh, place that in user local bin or user s bin. You can put it in either place, I believe, and it'll run just from the command line. So if you do screen util, oops, not, no, it's actually it's a different. It's s s c r util. So s c r util. So don't let that throw you. So I use the H command to get help. Uh, I just pull up the same thing. Now, let's see. Screen Util I shows the information. So here you can see it's 1920 by 1200, 32 bits per pixel, which is also very important. You need to know that. So let's go back to the help. And so you use S to switch, which I've noticed does absolutely nothing except switch it and then switch it back. And then you use T the T command to actually accept the changes. So what you're going to want to do is you do SUR, SCR util T and then I want 1440 space 900 space 32. Now the reason I want 32 on the end is because that's the pixel depth. That's the bit depth per pixel. Now I haven't tried to leave it off but it doesn't say it's optional. So the only thing that's optional is a refresh rate, but with LCDs, it's generally ignored. So that's basically it now. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to automate this. So what you gotta do is fire up Automator. Basically go into, I go into Utilities, cause that's where I usually see it. And then I click, I hold Run Shell Script, just drag it over. And I've already got it here. So basically, SCRU, SCR util T 1440 900 by 32. And when I run it, it checks out fine and it switches my display. I'm not going to do it right now because that would probably crash my screen recording application. So you're going to want to save this as an application. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come back into this. And go back to whatever one you want, so 1920 by 1200, and save it as another one. Save it as something different, a different name. You can name it large res, small res, whatever you want. I'm not going to save it. So from there, you're going to want to go into Quicksilver. Actually, yeah, Quicksilver and then Triggers. So from the Triggers, <clears throat> here we can see, oh, this one's missing now, so I'm going to Let's see, what, what did I name it? I named it 1920, so I'm gonna go into scripts, and there it is. So that's it. So there, I basically just added the custom trigger. Um, for some reason, it disappeared. 
I use Shift Command 9 and Shift Command O, 0. So 9 is for my smaller resolution and 0 is for my larger one. So that's basically, I, I hold those keys down and it switches my resolution on the fly. I don't have to fire up displays, wait for that to load, click the display, wait for that to load, close the display. I mean, it, it, it saves like a couple seconds, but that's every second count counts for me. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like to do things really fast. So, so that's my tip for today. Um, Hopefully I can write some more of these tips. I've just been so busy with class and I haven't been able to update my site, which kind of sucks because I've got some pretty good, I got some pretty nice utilities coming up with, uh, let's see, I got Backtrack 4 beta. I have a new Airbase NG script that I got from a friend. And that's about it. I've basically been messing with that. So sit tight. I got stuff coming. I've just been so busy. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.